Julia Skeeting. Today I'm making a great Waldorf salad. This salad's got everything in it that I like in a salad. It's got the juiciness and sweetness from the grapes. It's got the crunchiness from the celery and the fresh apples. It's got the nutty flavours coming from the walnuts. And then everything is coming together with a nice, smooth and creamy dressing. Let's get started. So let's get started with our grapes. Here I've got a selection of red and white grapes. I'm going to put them in an oven tray and let's dress them as if you were dressing a salad. So a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on top. We're going to stick these in the oven for five minutes until they start releasing their juices. So I've got two celery hearts here. I'm going to prepare them now to put them in our salad. So I'm going to give them a quick peel just to get rid of the hard bits. You can peel the bottom as well and we'll still be using it because it is the most flavoursome bits of the celery. So I'm going to cut our um, celery and then with the bottom end you can cut it in half and we can cut it this way. This is the most flavoursome bit of the celery and we're going to add all the celery in our salad. You can see the juiciness from the grapes starting to come out. So now I'm going to add 100 grams of uh, walnuts. We're going to add them to the grapes. And we're going to stick this back in the oven at 180 degrees for another 5 to 10 minutes until the walnuts are nice and crispy. Here I've got a lovely coarse lettuce. So I'm going to prepare it to put it in our salad. I'm going to cut the top bit off. So they form lovely little cups that we can sort of put as part of our salad like this. And I'm going to finally chop the rest of the coarse lettuce. And when you get to that point, I'm going to do what I've done with the celery. So I'm going to cut it in half and cut it the other way, just like this. We're going to put our coarse lettuce in with our salad. Let's now prepare our apple, the other star of the show in the Waldorf salad. And I'm going to cut it in little matchsticks. As you probably know, the Waldorf salad um, is named after the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York. I had the pleasure to actually go in once and see it, but um, clearly I was uh, stopped at the lobby and couldn't go any further. So let's do some matchsticks. So I'm cutting the apple this way. We've got little matchsticks here. So we've got little matchsticks to add to our salad. We can clean the seeds out clearly. Look what a beautiful star the inside of the apple looks like. So I'm adding our apple to the salad now. Our walnuts and grapes are now ready out of the oven, so we're going to add them to our salad now. Right, so we're going to add our grapes. Look how juicy they are. They're like a little bomb of juiciness now. And they're going to go really, really well in this salad. Make sure to remove all the stalks. The original Waldorf salad is with fresh grapes, but I've decided to um, roast the grapes with the walnuts just to add an extra dimension, uh, an extra sort of layer of um, flavours, which I think will work very nicely. So now we've got our walnuts to put in. So all I'm going to do is crunch them with my hands and just let them go in. You can if you want chop them on the board, but this way is more fun, shall we say. You don't want the nuts to be too fine and too small, otherwise you won't get the crunch, basically. Let's put the salad on one side now and I'm going to show you how to make the dressing. Right, so for our dressing, I'm going to put in a nice clean bowl, a few tablespoons of plain yogurt or Greek yogurt if you prefer. I am going to now add 
the juice of one lemon. I'll add the juice to the yogurt and then I'm going in with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a tiny bit of mustard, just a little bit. I've got here some tarragon leaves. They smell absolutely amazing. So I'm going to chop them up finely and put them in our dressing as well. And we're mixing all the ingredients together now. The original Waldorf salad um, is dressed with uh, mayonnaise, but this one is clearly a little bit healthier and um, I prefer opting for a yogurt based dressing when I can. All right, so we're gonna add our dressing on top of our salad. Look at that. Amazing. Right, and now we're going to give the salad a good mix. We can decorate it with some fresh grapes just at the top. And here is my Waldorf salad. Buon appetito! Mm-hmm.